Hi, welcome to my train room. I'm Rainer. This is just a quick video of, I guess, an explanation of why I'm basing a lot of my layout decisions or my railroading decisions on the Algoma Central Railway. It's pretty simple, actually. I grew up with it. My dad worked for the ACR for 39 years and retired uh, back in 95 when Wisconsin, when Wisconsin Central took over. Now, for those of you who don't know, Algoma Central Railway is or was a railroad that ran from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario up to Hearst, Ontario. So it's basically a south to north rail line that uh, primarily for freight operations provided a lot of freight service for Algoma Steel. It's a big steel mill in Sault Ste. Marie and uh, ran ore down from the mines up along the line. And it also was a major provider of or transporter of lumber for a couple of sawmills along the line as well as pulp wood for a uh, paper mill in Sault Ste. Marie. So that was kind of the bulk of its freight service. It also connected up along the line with both CN and CP. The other thing that Algoma Central has always been well known for is its Agua Canyon tour trains. It would run daily trains up to Agua Canyon and back full of tourists. And we're talking trains of 20 or more passenger coaches every day that would run up there full of people and come back. So it was a very popular train. And so that's what I grew up around. So my dad, uh, working for Algoma Central Railway, he started there in the mid 50s, just shortly after they had already gotten rid of all of their steam locomotives. And in fact, the ACR was the first Canadian railroad to totally dieselize in 1952. They just discovered that the diesels were way better on their winding crazy trackage that they ran up there and the uh, they would have way less hassle doing that so they just got rid of their steam locomotives and I think all of them got scrapped and probably got fed in to the uh, the furnace at Algoma Steel and got melted down to make who knows what. My dad started there as a blacksmith helper then started uh, working as the the job title was a tinsmith so he did all the sheet metal work he got training to become their uh, air conditioning and refrigeration repair guy, got his gas fitters license, so he done all the work on their propane equipment. So he did a lot of work on the passenger coaches, uh, as well as on track equipment and things like that. I remember my dad telling me in the early days when uh, Algoma Central Railway got a whole fleet of used passenger coaches that used the old um, ice block air conditioning system in them and my dad actually designed and installed uh, proper air conditioning systems in all of those coaches. So he knew the passenger coaches quite well. Now my dad also kind of brought the ACR home. I remember as a young child my dad built a garage on the end of the house and he needed windows. Well it happened to be that they were completely rebuilding the old Egoa business car. It's a uh, business car built by I think Barney and Smith back in like 1911. And anyway it had those curved top windows on it and they put all new windows in it so he brought four of those windows home and used them as windows in our garage. We had chunks of uh, railroad rail to use as anvils in the garage floor. Um, a few years later, the uh, ACR was selling off a or auctioning off an old 1957 Willys. It was one of like the panel wagons that had been a track inspection car. It had spent its whole life running up and down the rails. What they did in those days was they just put flanges on the inside of the tires and the inside of the wheels, so it couldn't even be run on the road with the flanges on it. And then it had a turntable, a manually operated turntable on the bottom that would lift the vehicle up so you could manually spin it around and set it back on the rails pointing the other direction. Anyway, they took the turntable off, they took the flanges off the wheels, my dad brought it, bought it, brought it home, and then I was tasked with taking off the Algoma Central Railway logo off the doors. It was a bright orange Jeep. 
And uh, we had that for quite a number of years. We, he painted it and fixed it all up and we used that for going on camping trips in the summer and everything else. A few years later, my dad builds a workshop in the back of the backyard and this time for windows, he gets some old coach windows from a coach they were scrapping and he, I think we had four of those windows or five of them and he just took them and stood them on end and made these big tall windows down the side of our workshop. So I'm sure people, whoever bought that property later would be trying to figure out where on earth would I ever get replacement windows. So yeah, and uh, also our driveway beside the yard, we had the old railroad lanterns that my dad had converted to with electric bulbs and those were our yard lights. Uh, so my dad brought bits and pieces of the ACR home with them and uh, I kind of grew up with that. And then my dad also got me into model railroading when I was a kid. And uh, so the two naturally just fit together. So basically that's, that's my reason for um, modeling or being inspired by Algoma Central Railway. Beyond that, we also used to, because my dad worked for them, we used to be able to ride the train for free. So I took the Agua Canyon tour a number of times. I would ride the train with my dad, um, the regular northbound train that was heading to Hearst, that train, you could tell it to stop anywhere and it would let you off beside any lake or beaver dam or anywhere you wanted. And if you're standing beside the track, just wave it, wave at it and it would stop and pick you up. So we used to take that up north to go fishing. And even in the winter, we used to go up, uh, get off the train in the middle of nowhere and uh, snowshoe into a lake and camp camp out in the snow in the winter ice fishing and then walk back to the track because we knew when the train was going by and wave it down and, and head home. So I spent a lot of time around the ACR stuff, especially the passenger coaches, the passenger lines. So I, that's kind of my memories of the ACR. So that's why I'm being inspired by that for uh, my model railroad. Um, I did one time run, get to ride on the uh, walkway of an SD40. There was a, a freight train that had wrecked at the north end of Canyon while we were up on one of our fishing trips. And so the southbound train couldn't get through. So it stopped at the wreck. We all got off the train with our stuff, walked around the wreck and climbed onto the walkway of an SD40 that then was ferrying us down to a short distance, not very far to another siding where another passenger train was waiting for us to take us the rest of the way. So it was a, uh, that was the one time I got to ride on the uh, walkway of a locomotive. Um, I remember as a kid, my dad walking me through the car shops and walking me into the roundhouse and uh, seeing all of that stuff. Now, I only wish that back then I would have had a camera with me and taken pictures of all of that stuff, but I didn't. But I have those memories and I'm just trying to, um, I guess those memories are what's inspiring me when I'm working on here. Anyway, that was just a quick update. Um, thanks for watching. Like what you saw, click the like button, click the subscribe if you want to see more of what I'm doing with this whole railroad model railroad layout. So uh, just, yeah, thanks for watching. Till next time.